Hi guys, so today we're taking a look at 2017's question 2A. Now this question here is based on landscape development and more specifically on the fluvial environment and rejuvenation. Now this question can appear as question number 1A, 2A or 3A as part of your physical geography. It's worth 20 marks in total, which is allocated between 5 and 7 minutes of your time in your exam. So let's take a look. Now, a reminder, have a little look at the question and the diagram prior to starting. So, we're asked to examine the diagram above and answer each of the following questions. So, part number one. Explain briefly two reasons why river rejuvenation occurs. Now, a quick reminder, the words explain briefly or briefly explain means two marks plus two marks to us. So our examiner wants us to expand on this. Now, actually, there's eight marks in total going for this question, which is quite unusual, because for each of these reasons, my examiner is giving me two plus two. So let's get started. So here, my first reason for river rejuvenation. Now, river rejuvenation, what actually is it? It means to become young again. It's where the river's energy is rejuvenated, where vertical erosion begins again in the mature or the old age stage of the river. So there's two reasons for river rejuvenation. Number one. Number one can be a rise in land level. Now you have to say to yourself, why might, a rib, why might there be a rise in land level? So the reason for a rise in land level would be a great weight. And I'm gonna put in brackets beside this a glacier. Is removed. So there can be a rise in the land level if there's some sort of great weight, like a glacier, removed. Now this rise in land level would have occurred at the end of the last ice age. So here what happens is kind of like a sponge when you take your, the pressure off it, it poofs back up. Now that's the first reason. A second reason for rejuvenation, river rejuvenation, would be a fall in sea level. So the sea level actually falls. Now, generally speaking, the main reason for a fall in sea level is due to climate change. Now, you can expand on this point, but it could be due to increased evaporation, higher temperatures, or also if the freezing occurs. So some of that water is turning to ice. Now, here this question, as I said, a little bit unusual of a marking scheme. However, there's two marks going for my first reason and two marks for my additional point here, two marks going for my second reason, and my expansion on that. Now, a reminder to make sure you expand on these points. Now, on to part number two, what are we asked? Again, we're using the words explain briefly, two marks plus two marks. Explain briefly what is meant by the term midpoint. Now, a midpoint, what actually is a midpoint? You're gonna see a midpoint there, and it's labeled in the diagram with this question. So a nick point is a sudden change in slope or gradient, either word we'll use, a sudden change in the slope or the gradient along the long profile of a river. So it's a sudden change. As you'll see there, it's a sharp change. So the long profile of the river usually would go quite curved and it goes for some strange reason. Now, this is usually marked by, it's usually marked by either a waterfall or maybe a series of rockets, depending on the number of nick points. So I'm gonna pop down here, it's marked by a waterfall. So again, a waterfall is that vertical fall of water that we usually see in the youthful stage of the river, but in this case, a nick point can cause it to occur in the mature stage of the river also. Now, marking scheme wise, again, briefly explained means two marks plus two marks. So we're getting two marks for our first point and two marks for our second point. Now, remembering this waterfall is usually found mature, less often, but can be found in the old age stage because of rejuvenation also. 
Now that's part number one and part number two. Very unusual structure that are more difficult parts were the first two parts with our kind of shorter, simpler questions towards the end. So here, our third part. Now, we were asked to name, so here our questions are getting much shorter. Name two features of river rejuvenation not shown in the diagram. Now, the, obviously the feature shown in the diagram was the nick point. We can't repeat that. So instead, we're going to pick two different ones. So we're going to pick incised meanders and paired terraces. Now it's really important to know these features and actually be able to identify what they look like. So here, marking scheme wise, we're going for two marks plus two marks. So four marks in total here. Now finally the last part of the question was a nice, short, simple part. It said how many times has river rejuvenation taken place in the diagram above? Now all you had to do was count the number of nick points. So here you're going to see two nick points, which means Twice or two is our answer here. Now, for just stating the word two, marking scheme wise, a huge amount of marks, we're going to get four marks. Now, in total, this question is worth 20 marks, as we can see here. It's going to be allocated between five and seven minutes of our time, and here you're going to see. For this question, it's a physical geography question, so this may appear again as question 1A, 2A or 3A.